Let's spend a bit of time on division. DI, VI, SI, ON. Sure. Okay. Let's talk about some notation first. Notation consideration. A divided by B is the same thing as A divided by B, which is the same thing as A divided by B. These three ways are all identical. They're different ways of writing things. Um, why would you write some of these some ways? Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. You wanted to write it in a book. Well, if you notice, this is on your keyboard and then so are these. This is the easiest way to type. This is good when we start reducing fractions. This makes it look like a fraction. It's division. This is our functional notation. This is the long hand or the old school division. Good. Let's start with one of those. Which do you want? Hmm, I don't care. I need a number, something like a... Uh, 24. 24 with um, a zero on it. Yeah. 240 divided by 6. Now I want to go through a couple of different methods of dividing this number. First, why don't we rewrite that in a different form? We can either go vertically or old school. Let's first go old school. It's one that you're familiar with. Let's go old school. Who's in the house? The one in front. 240 in the house. Who's out the house? Six. Very nice. Let's go through this division algorithm. Um, six goes into two how many times? It doesn't. Move on. If you want to put a zero there, feel free. Six goes into 24 how many times? What I'm asking is what do I multiply six by to get 24? Four, sure. So four times six is 24. Change the sign, add down. You get zero, then you drop that zero. How many times does six go into zero? Zero times. Now you've reached the end of the number and your remainder is also zero. I put the rest of that there for formalities. So we see it's 40. We see it's 40. Sure. So 240 divided by six is 40. Awesome. That was one way to do it. Another way to do it would have been to break it down. Oh, had I written this in vertical notation, in vertical notation. Who's on top? The one in front's on top. I don't care how you remember, just remember. So 240 over six. This is the same thing as my original division problem. So 240 over six. Oh boy. Here's what we could have gone and we could have done. We could have seen that six was a factor of 240. Six times what? Six times 40 all over six. Is that right? It's okay. So now what do they do? They fight! Oh, oh, oh. And after the dust settles, what's left? 40. Yeah. I need to point out, they don't really fight, right? No, they reduce. Why? Because five over five is one. A million over a million is one. We could see this fraction as six over six, which is one. So then we talk about that one. One times five is five. One times a million, a million. Oh, one times 40 is 40. 
good stuff? That was two different ways. Now there's a third way. You probably wouldn't really do it this third way. But why don't we, since we're here? We saw... Multiplication as repeated addition. We can do the same type thing with division. We can see it as repeated subtraction. So let me start with a smaller number, perhaps um, 32. Okay, sure. I actually seen them teaching this to um, elementary school children. I was like, wow, really? So then this is 32. I'm gonna take 32 and I'm gonna divide it by, give me a number. Eight, great. 32 divided by eight. Perhaps you already have some preconceived notions. This is um, a conceptual understanding of this division, sure. So let me take 32. 32 minus eight, 32 minus eight, what you got? Um, 24? 24, let's see, 24 plus eight, is 32. Awesome. What's 24 minus 8? Subtraction is so much harder in the head. I don't know. It like hurts. 16? 16? Does that sound about right? Sure. 16 minus 8. What's 16 minus 8? 8. Great. And then what's 8? Minus eight, zero, the hero. What I'm asking is, how many times did I have to subtract eight? I had to subtract eight four times. So there was a four multiple of eight to get to 32. So this is four. Why? Because there are eight groupings, or there are four groupings of eight in 32. I think I threw, drew 32 dots up there. It was a squeaky event. If I wanted to go circling groups of eight, here's a group of eight, here's a group of eight, Here's a group of eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. How many groups of eight do you see in 32? You see four groups. Division.